Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Jenny Jo. In this video, we will explore the force edit renewal feature of your Homeschool Life website. This tool allows you to force your families to update their profiles. You might also want them to increase their child's grade level to the next grade or to reaffirm a document like the code of conduct. You can also use this process to automatically generate invoices for registration fees. First, let's take a quick look at what this will look like from the family perspective. After you've initiated the force edit renewal, the next time a family logs in, this is the message that they'll see. It's time to renew your membership and update our records. You will now be sent to the edit profile screen. After clicking OK to this message, the family will be taken to the edit profile screen. Here they will have the opportunity to update their information. They will not be able to go anywhere else on the private side of the website. They will have to put answers in any field that you have marked as required. Those are the ones with the red asterisk. If you have included a renewal fee as part of the force edit renewal, it will appear at the top of the profile. Once a family has chosen the payment options and clicked update at the bottom, Corresponding invoices will be created. If you have enabled online payments, families will have the option to pay right away. Let's look at some examples of requiring people to reaffirm to a statement or a form. These will appear at the bottom of the profile. For example, this item links out to a form that families must click on and then it opens in a new window where they can fill out the information and click submit. Here's an example of a form where all of the text of the information is built right here into the profile. And families have to click yes, I agree, or no, I don't. In this example, you can see that the admin has cleared the answer to this question. And families will have to answer it because this one has a red asterisk by it and it's a required field. Here's an example of one where the family has to sign their name that they agree that they affirm to something. Now let's take a quick look at the invoices that were generated when the family completed the renewal process. From your admin homepage, click on Accounting from the gray sidebar. Then select Invoices. Now here at the top, you can see the two invoices that were created when the Mabel Russell family renewed. You can see that these invoices have type RR for registration and renewal and they have not been paid yet. Now let's look at how to configure the force edit renewal as an admin. Log into your admin portal and go to members, families, manage. Click on the button at the top of the page titled force edit renewal. Now at the top of the page, there are four choices for what you might want to do. The first is no change. You should select this option if you want to compose the message in the text box below, but do not want to activate the force edit renewal at this time. Be sure to scroll to the bottom and save changes after you've finished updating that text. The second option will force all families to edit their profiles only. This choice does not create invoices or have any impact on accounting. It merely forces families to lay eyeballs on their profiles the next time they log in. The third option will force all families to look at their profiles and it includes the payment options. We'll talk more about this in a minute. The fourth option allows you to remove a force edit that you've previously applied. Please note that if you have cleared any data when you previously ran the force edit renewal, Removing the force edit renewal won't bring that data back. It will only remove the force from the family's profiles. Also note that there is not currently a way to apply the force edit renewal to only some of your families. It's an all or nothing proposition. That being said, you do have the ability to apply the global force edit renewal and then immediately unforce individual families if you need to. We'll get to that in a bit. The next section 
on the page is a text box where you will enter the instructions for renewing that will appear at the top of the family's profile when they log in. Use this space to explain what is happening and how to correctly handle the payment options. This might include something like, Welcome to a new year! Please look over your profile, update any outdated information, including removing children who have graduated. Please select the number of children you would like to pre-register from the drop-down box. This text box allows for all the formatting. You can make things bold or colorful or include links, etc. The next section is very powerful because it allows you to require families to redo or reaffirm things. Here you see a list of all your added custom fields as well as the child grade field, which is a field already built into the system. If you check the box next to a field name, families' previous answers to these questions will be cleared. And if they are required fields, families will have to re-answer them. Click Save Changes to immediately activate the Force Edit Renewal, that is, if you've selected the second or third option at the top. But wait! There are several items that you need to configure before you run the Force Edit Renewal. First, it is highly recommended that you save all your family data before invoking the Force Edit Renewal, especially if you intend to clear some of the custom fields. This can be done either by downloading the CSV document from Members, Families, Manage, and then clicking on this download link on the far right side that says export to CSV or by going to the force edit renewal page and clicking this link here that says click here to export all directory information. Either way it is recommended to save the file as an Excel spreadsheet and then upload it to your uploads folder. CSV files can't be saved in the uploads folder and that's why you need to save it as an Excel. In this way, the information will be available to any other admins at any date in the future because it's saved right on your website. The second thing you need to do before you run the Force Edit Renewal is if you want invoices to be automatically generated, then we need to set that up in the Accounting section. Click on Members, Families, Registration Process. Scroll to the bottom of the page. Here you will see the payment options. Currently, the payment options configured here will apply to both new members and returning members. However, the instruction box immediately above the payment options is only applicable for new members. To write instructions for renewing members, use the text box back on the Force Edit Renewal page. Once you've configured your payment options to your liking, Scroll down and click Save Changes. One tip worth mentioning is to include the academic year in the name of your fees, such as 2024-2025 Family Fee. This will put the date front and center on the invoice that's generated, and that might be especially helpful for groups that open their membership renewal for the next school year before the current school year is finished. Once you're finished configuring your payment options, scroll down and click Save Changes. The third thing that must be done before running the Force Edit Renewal is to update any custom extra fields. To do this, go to Members, Families, Extra Fields. Your group might be using the extra fields to include a code of conduct or a release of liability in the registration process. You might have included it by linking out to a separate document to read or an I-form with checkboxes or by including the text right in the extra field here. For now, you just want to check to make sure all your documents are updated with any new information for the new school year and any new dates. Do the same for the extra child fields as well. And finally, before activating the Force Edit Renewal, you should look to see if you have any parked members. Go to Members, Families, Manage, View Parked. Currently, the Force Edit Renewal doesn't really work on parked families. What happens is that when they next log in, they will receive the You Are Parked message instead of the Renew Your Profile message. If they happen to update their profile, the check beside the Force box will be cleared 
but they will not be invoiced. How you handle the parked families will depend on the initial reason they were parked. If you want them to participate in the renewal process, you'll probably want to unpark them. Now let me show you what it looks like from the admin side after the force edit renewal has been run. Members, Families Manage. Here, you can see the little check in the box beside the word force. After a family logs in and updates their profile, the check will be gone and a date will be added just above. Note that manually placing a check in this box does not apply the full force edit renewal to an individual family. If you put a check in the force box, the system will require the families edit their profile, but there will be no ability to include the payment options and the automatic invoicing. Now, I mentioned earlier that you might have occasion to remove a force edit. This could be done globally for everyone by going to the force edit renewal tool and selecting the fourth option here. Again, if you cleared any data when you previously ran the force edit, removing the force edit won't bring that data back. It will only remove the force from the family's profiles. But you will have a record of that data if you downloaded the CSV before running the force edit. Removing the force edit can also be done individually. One example of a reason to do this is for families that definitely aren't returning next year. Removing the force edit from their membership will allow them to have access to the website for the remainder of the current year. Another example is when your teachers don't have children who are attending your co-op and therefore don't need to pay co-op fees or sign any forms. You can remove the force edit for them. Here's the steps for doing it individually. Go to Members, Families, Manage. Scroll down to find the family in question and uncheck the box next to Force. Remember that if you cleared any extra fields during the Force Edit Renewal, that data will not come back. Here's some additional tips for success. The Force Edit Renewal doesn't run properly on people who are currently signed into your website. So you'll want to make sure everyone is signed out. If you go to Settings, Privacy and Security, Privacy Options, you can see that there is a choice here to allow users to remain signed in. If you do not have that box checked, then your families will be automatically logged out after two hours of inactivity. In that case, it's best to just pick a time when people are least likely to have recently logged in to run your force edit renewal. If you have checked the box and enabled the stay logged in feature, it is recommended that you disable it, wait till a time when it's been at least two hours since people are likely to have been working on the site, then run the force edit renewal, and then re-enable the stay logged in feature. At this time, the payment options for new members and renewing members are linked, but some groups charge a different fee for the two types of people. There are a few ways to handle this. First, you can create options for both fees under the members, families, registration process, and at the bottom. Again, you can create options for both fees and count on your families to pick one or the other. You would have to make them not required in that case. Or you can charge everyone the higher amount and then ask the lower paying families to wait to make any payments until you've manually removed the invoices. Conversely, you can charge everyone the lower amount and then ask the higher paying people to wait to make any payments until you've manually increased their invoices. If your group allows people to join all year long, you might want to consider closing to new members for some time before the force edit renewal. If you don't, brand new applicants will be forced to update their profile just after they've already filled it out. For example, you may receive a new member on January 31st. If you run the force edit renewal on February 1st, that new member will be asked to update their profile and they will be invoiced again one day after they did all that. You can avoid this issue if you close membership a safe distance before you activate the force edit renewal. If you absolutely must keep the join button open, 
you might include some directions in the instructions that say, if you recently joined, please go through the renewal process, but don't pay. Notify admin and we will take care of it. Especially if this is the first time you've used the force edit renewal, it might be helpful to notify your families about what to expect. You could even ask them to stay logged out when you plan to run the force edit renewal. The key to success is being organized and planning ahead. Take the steps in order and you'll have your membership renewal well in hand. This concludes the video tutorial on the force edit renewal process. If you have any further questions, please contact us by creating a ticket in your support center, sending an email to support at homeschool-life.com or calling 920-755-0257.